Good morning, gang. Thanks for tuning back into the channel. So you have probably no doubtedly have seen videos now coming out on these new Blue Eddy B300K batteries. They are an expansion battery that can be used with four different power stations from Blue Eddy. The AC300, AC500, AC200L, and AC200 Max. This is not going to be a super technical video, guys. I want to give you my personal um, reasoning for if you would want to buy these batteries or not, because it's kind of hard to decipher all of the different expansion batteries that Blue Eddy offers, because they're all a little bit different, and the pricing ranges pretty drastically. So here's my opinion on why Blue Eddy came out with these B300K batteries. So strap in and let's go. So these are, and I'm not going to call them budget friendly because I hate that term. These are over a thousand bucks for the best price that I've seen. Pricing is all over the map already on these things. If you're a member of Blue Eddy, you get it for a different price. Um, the MSRP is $12.99. Regular kind of sale price for these B300K batteries right now. And I had to write this down because it's all over the place is $1,199 right now for the B300Ks. Now, if you compare that to the B300 battery, which is what I'm using over here on my tower that you can't see, it's 3,072 watt hours. These are a little bit smaller, a little bit less capacity. These are 2,764 watt hours. So it's a little bit less capacity. They are a little bit shorter. They're about two inches shorter than the B300 and B300S batteries. So you can stack more of them and it's not going to be as tall of a tower. They weigh 65 pounds. These are actually rated to 4,000 cycles to 80% or as surprisingly, the B300 and B300S batteries are only rated to 3,500 cycles to 80%. This has a three-year warranty. The bigger brothers have a five-year warranty. So I'm assuming that for Blue Eddy to get the price down, they had to cut off two years of that warranty. Now, in all reality, something else is gonna break in your system before these batteries do within three years. Uh, that's just my opinion only. And the whole 4,000 cycles to 80%, batteries, it, it, by the time you get to 4,000 cycles, LiPo 4 is gonna be a dinosaur. That, that's what I think. I think something's gonna come out that's gonna be even better than LiPo 4, but these are still really good, solid batteries. Blue Eddy puts good quality batteries in all of their stuff. Now, the pricing on the B300s, if you're trying to compare, and i sorry guys, I had to write all this down. B300s are $15.99. The B300Ss are $16.99. The difference between the B300 and the B300S, the B300S will accept a little bit more charge amperage being put into it to charge it up a little bit faster. And the big thing is the B300S has a self-heating module to where you can use that battery in colder climates if you're up in the north to charge it up safely. None of these other batteries have a heating element in it besides the B300S, but you're paying $16.99 for that battery. Blue Eddy had to cut some cost on these B300Ks. And I, I'm gonna try not to call these a budget-friendly option because again, they're really not, but it's the cheapest option that they have for expansion batteries. And the way that they cut the cost on that is A, three-year warranty instead of five. Uh, B, they took out the 12 volt socket, cigarette style socket that's on the B300 and B300S batteries. So you don't get a 12 volt output. You only get one uh, USB-A 12 watt output. The B300 and B300S batteries have a USB-C 100 watt output port on those batteries that I think Blue Eddy should have put a USB-C output on this. That 12 watt USB-A that's kind of, uh, it probably cost them four cents to put it on this battery, and it wouldn't have been much more to put a USB-C power delivery uh, on the B300K. But that's, again, I think how they're cutting costs. Uh, the other main thing is you cannot charge the B300K batteries standalone. You have to use one of the four power stations, use that power station to charge up these batteries. The B300 and 300S batteries you can charge independently with solar or AC. These you have to connect it to a power station which could be a killer, could be not a big deal. Um, for me, j j just for me only, I've never had the need to just charge up a battery by itself without using a power station attached to it. I know for some people that might be a, a deal killer. For me, it's not that big of a deal, but you know, they did have to take out the MPPT charge controller in here to reduce that cost even further. So these cannot be charged stand alone. That's probably the most important differentiating factor between these and the and the bigger B300 batteries is that those can be charged separately, this cannot. Now, if you have an AC200 Max, you can connect up to two of these. If you have an AC200L, you can connect up to two of these. If you have an AC300, 
you can connect up to four of these. And if you have an AC500, you can connect up to six of these batteries uh, to give you a pretty big power bank. And again, with these being a little bit smaller, they're not gonna take up, depending on if you're gonna stack them up tall wise, they're not going to be as tall as if you're using the B300 or B300S batteries. And you're gonna be saving almost 500 bucks a battery if you go with this. Yes, it's a little bit less capacity and a few other shortcuts on this battery, but if you're you know, looking to save some money, I don't think that this is a terrible option. Now I did do a capacity discharge test with two of these batteries hooked up to my AC200L. And I'll just tell you folks, I was, I was shocked at what we, what we were able to get out of these two batteries. So I hooked them up again to my 200L. I used my standard watt meter to monitor how much we were pulling out of these batteries. And I hooked up a little incandescent light bulb fixture. So with all three of these hooked up, I was able to get 7,263 watt hours pulled out of all three components, the two batteries and the AC200L. That equates to almost 96% efficient on that test. That's, that's the best I've ever received on any power station. I keep saying that, but they, they just keep getting better. But 96% efficient is absolutely uh, phenomenal in my opinion to be able to get that much rated capacity off of the nameplate of these batteries. So again, some of that takes into equation the AC200L, which is around 2,048 rated watt hours. But overall, as a whole, 96% efficient running that power station in these two batteries alone, which is, which is phenomenal. Now, when you get these batteries, there's a couple of things I want to explain. Um, these batteries will come with a connection cable. So unfortunately, Blue Eddy is still using these big giant cables. I really wish they would come up with a way to do like a short 90 degree. So you're kind of not limit. So you're, you're not having to use these big giant cables because these do get in the way. But these are 90 amp ends okay so these will work with the ac 200 l ac 200 max ac 300 again 90 amp because that's what all of those battery stations use for ports if you have an ac 500 you're gonna have to get a little bit of a special cable to, to make it work so this cable again is from blue eddy has a 150 amp uh, on one end and a 90 amp on the other end so the 150 amp is going to plug directly into your ac 500 whereas the 90 amp end is going to plug in to the battery, just like these cables. But if you guys do have an AC500 and you buy these batteries and it comes with this cable, it's not gonna work. You have to get the 150 amp to 90 amp connection to make that AC500 work with these batteries. So just a little side tangent, little note there. But that's what these B300K batteries are. They are a more budget-minded option from Blue Eddy that's gonna save you between four and 500 bucks a piece if you're comparing it to the B300 or B300S batteries. You are losing a few different odds and ends on the battery, but it might not really make that much of a difference to you. But let me get two of these batteries hooked up to my AC300 that is um, still running uh, my off-grid setup right now. So I'm gonna have to unplug everything, take it down and show you how to connect these to the AC300. And then I'll show you how to connect it to the AC200L which is a little bit different uh, setup that you have to use because the ports are on opposite sides of those power stations, but I'll show you what I mean when we get there. So let's check out the AC300 setup now. Well, excuse the voice over here, guys, but my mic was not turned on and I didn't want to have to redo me taking apart my AC300, but here I'm just simply showing how, how these cables work installing uh, on the AC300 with the two batteries. So if you note here, what I'm pointing at is the lock button, and that's going to come into play here later in the video, but when you plug these batteries into the side of the AC300, which you can also tell I, I'm able to stack all three on top of each other. That is one benefit of the AC300. But when you get these cables plugged into the AC300, make sure that you press or push that lock button all the way in because it will create uh, s some issues for you if you do not get those locked in properly. Now here we're going to go ahead and turn on the Blue Eddy after the batteries are installed and make sure everything is uh catching up with one another and the batteries are being uh, located. So you can see here I'm at 100%. I'm going to go into the data to battery information and you can uh, tell by here my batteries are showing up as batteries two and three. It doesn't really matter. It all depends on how you hook up the batteries to the AC300, but they're both showing at 100% charge. So we're going to go here and go back, go back to the homepage 
at showing 100%, we are good to go there. You can cut on the AC inverter, make sure everything is working well. And then I'm gonna cut on the DC output as well to make sure that everything again is working well. Well, now that I got the audio back to working normally, this is how it looks like when you try to set up the AC200L or the AC200 Max. The ports for the input ports on the 200L and the Max are on the left side. The input ports for the cables on these B300K batteries are on the right. So that means you can't necessarily stack this power station on top of the batteries because the ports are on different sides. So you kind of have to put it to the side of the, of the expansion batteries. That might not be a huge deal. Um, and it's really not if you have enough room. Me being OCD, I prefer to have everything stacked on top of each other and have, uh, you know, unfortunately, we still have these huge cables from Blue Eddy, but it's just a little bit cleaner look. Now you can, of course, turn these batteries around and have the back of the batteries facing forward and put this on top and then all ports would be on the right hand side. That would work, but again, I like to see the battery indicators and the power buttons. And if you do have to use the little USB-A 12 watt, these are on the front. But you can see it does work just fine with the 200L. I'll go ahead and press and hold and cut that off. These lights on the batteries do cut off. We'll cut the system back on, press and hold. That's gonna cut on, these lights cut on. So now I've got 2,764 watts times two and the AC200L is 2,048 watt hours. So I'm running almost around 8,000 watt hours just off the top of my head here thinking, let's see, three, six, yeah, somewhere around 8,000 watts. I don't have my calculator here, but this is a lot of power in a pretty small form factor, um, given the fact that these B300K batteries are a little bit smaller than the B300 and B300S batteries. So conclusion of these batteries are, yeah, Blue Eddy's trying to come out with a more affordable uh, expansion battery option. With that, they did have to cut a few corners by removing the USB-C uh, power delivery output. They removed the 12 volt output. They took two years off the warranty. However, you still do have three years. These are rated to 4,000 cycles, unlike the bigger brother over there, which is rated to 3,500 cycles to 80%. 95% efficiency rating uh, on the discharge output on these guys, which is phenomenal. Uh, I'll take that. That's, that's the best I've ever received. I believe here on any on any battery. So 95% running off of the AC inverter on the AC200L, that is phenomenal. So you're getting what you pay for. Um, and again, there's gonna be all kinds of sales and discounts on these things. Uh, look in the video description below. I might be able to get some an, an additional discount from Blue Eddy that I'll put down in the video uh, below. I don't know that yet, but I will, of course, when I post that video. So overall, I think they're really good batteries if you are, in the market for a system for expansion batteries. I wouldn't necessarily go out and buy one of these on its own because it's not gonna do you any good because you can't charge it up um, without a power station. And it doesn't have really any 12 volt outputs other than this little 12 watt USB-A. But if you already own one of these Blue Eddy power stations, one of the four that these are compatible with, I think these are pretty decent batteries because you can stack more of them and leave a smaller footprint than the B300 and B300S battery. So I think they're, I think it's a pretty pretty good little option. Yes, they, they did have to cut a few corners to get that price down, but if you don't mind not having a few of those odds and ends on your battery, I think these are pretty good a pretty good bet um, if you're trying to increase your storage capacity at home. So anyway, gang, check the links uh, in the video below to see if there's any discounts for you if you are wanting one of these. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.